welcome back to a new video in this video we are going to see how to use this uh, uh, atollic true studio software for stm32 projects so first of all this is an eclipse based ide and uh, there will be no code limit for your uh, embedded projects so you can download the software from the st website so i have already downloaded it so we will see how to use uh, this software for STM32 projects. So first of all, we will create a new project by using. So after opening here, you can give any any folder the where you want to uh, save your uh, workspace. So I have given a new folder, and I just click OK. So it will take a few uh, moments. So so we can wait. Okay, uh, this opened for creating a new project. What you have to do, you, uh, you have to go to file and the new and uh, C project you have to choose. So, in this window, give any name for your project. They have given sample here, and you have to click the embedded C project and then click next. And you have to choose the controller uh, what you're going to use. So I'm using STM32 F429ZI. So it's appeared here. Just click the controller, and this is a Cortex M4 based microcontroller which is having a floating point unit. Those informations you can see here, and the click next after choosing your controller. So here nothing you have to do, and the next. So you can choose your debugger, what debugger you are going to use. So most of the development boards, embedded uh, boards, what you are buying from the market is having some uh, inbuilt uh, debuggers. So I am having ST-Link, so I am choosing ST-Link here. So after choosing the debugger, you can click uh, finish. So and after this month, it will take a few moments. So we can wait until it's ready okay background it's uh, building your project so it will take a few seconds so it's running in the background and the one important thing when you're using atollic tool studio and it's a very helpful thing so it all the drivers peripheral drivers you will be available and it, it will be already available in this project so you can see your main function now as it seems like empty you can start writing codes here so first of all i'm building my projects i want to make sure there is no errors for that you can see the building progress by click this console window and uh, and i'm going to build it again for building project you can go to this project tab and they build the project so it's building okay those no issues no errors no problems so you can see your libraries here you can go to libraries so all the peripheral libraries you can uh, see inside this stm 33 f4 standard peripheral library and they click the includes this, this much uh, peripheral libraries are already available so you can start using these uh, like uh, gpio uh, i2c spa drivers and everything is available here it's already included you can start using okay have a nice day thanks for watching my video bye